Hey family, welcome to Ohana House. I'm Star. In this video, I'm going to show you how we throw a movie night party in my backyard. It was pretty affordable. We got most of our items from Amazon, Walmart, and Dollar Tree. If you have not done so already, subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hi! Hey girl! My friend Marilyn is here. Hey y'all. You haven't seen her, but she's been in like a lot of my videos, but hasn't really been in any of my videos, if that makes sense. Like if you've ever seen me plan anything, do any kind of dinner, breakfast, party, she's probably been at it. So, she's I'm helping me. Yeah. Low key. She's gonna help set up. She's my co-host for this movie night, so. We're about to eat and then start prepping everything. Let me show you some of the things that we have for the movie night. We have this popcorn machine that I got from Amazon that we'll use obviously to pop the popcorn, but also as a part of the decor. I also got, oh, this is giving me so many memories of regular life, but um, these containers for hot dogs, nachos, and popcorn bags. I also got this from Amazon as well, and also the hot dog, um, foil things that actually keep it warm. I don't know what it's called. We also got salsa, popcorn kernels, popcorn salt, popcorn butter, jalapenos for the nachos, more jalapenos for the nachos and popcorn butter. We have tons of candy. Um, we have this, where's the movie theater candy? It's still in your car? Okay, cool. Obviously tons of hot dog buns. Um, I got this sign and actually like it, um, when you pull it out, it says concessions on it. We'll put that across the table. And I also got other movie decor from Amazon. And I have individual packed um, ketchup and mustard so that no one had to share condiment bottles. Um, for games, we have like giant checkers. Uh, I think this is cornhole here. And we also have giant connect four. I got individual wrapped um, tortilla chips here. I'll show you those when they come out of the box. Um, other chips, we have this giant <coughs> bottle of hand sanitizer that we'll use to make our um, hand sanitizer stations. Water, extra face masks, juices, chips, and let's see. I also got some pillows and blankets. Like these are super cheap from Walmart, these pillows and blankets. Uh, look like this. Dizzle. Got these blankets and pillows that I'll use to make a pal for the movie. Yeah. You can bring it over here just for about to do this shot. Um, and then for a candy display, I got these gold, um, what are these? Baskets from Dollar Tree. I think I showed you that. And I got this smaller one for napkins. Um, I also picked up a few extra hand sanitizers, although we have plenty of hand sanitizer, but just because um, these are the bottles we'll use to put the hand sanitizer in the gallon one. I got um, tissue paper to cover uh, the foil tin containers so that it'll just look better on the table. And I got these popcorn buckets that I'll use to put the smaller bags of popcorn in for the concession stand. Also, Marvelin bought a ton of movie theater candy. So we have like the, the full boxes that you will get at theater. We have them here for our guests. So yeah, tons of candy. So excited. So I got, I got big tortilla chips because I don't care. Um, and there's scoops. So yeah, so we have these individual bag of tortilla chips for nachos, obviously because we don't want people digging their hands in a bowl of chips. Well, so I'm really happy that, I, I was like, does that exist? So I Googled and Googled and Googled until I found individual bags of tortilla chips. So we're about to prep them.
So here is candy. You know, we actually have another 20 boxes of candy coming later. It, it, it didn't seem like as much as it looks like now <laughs> when we decided on the amount. We decided to turn the boxes this way because people can see what kind of candy it is without having to like touch everything. But we think it looks cuter this way. It does look cute this way, but this way is just more logical. So we'll probably set it out this way. Maybe we'll see. We wanted to make sure that all of our drinks and snacks were individually packaged. We got individual tortilla chips and salsa and queso for the nachos um, and also individual wrappers for the hot dogs and popcorn. You remember back in the day when we used to go to the movie theater and we would have these great snacks at the concession stand? Yeah, I do too. And we wanted to remake that experience as much as possible just for some good old nostalgia and reminiscent of what life used to be like. Food prep is going super well. We just got finished prepping nachos. We prepped candy. What we have to do? We have to prep hot dog. Yeah. We have to prep hot dog buns, and then we'll need to pop, start popping popcorn at some point, but maybe a little bit later. So right now we're gonna do hot dog buns, and then also I'm gonna go outside and um, put up the string lights with David. So. How you feeling? Very good, feeling great, feeling good. Excited for all the people to come. I'm so excited, it's, it's already so cute. Like, I mean, look at what she did, y'all. Look at this, this, isn't this, the, I just, and then there's these, it's just, I can't. It's the whole thing. Whole thing. All right, oh, let's get back to work. <laughs> look at it. Got our little nacho trays. We still have more nacho trays to go to get situated. I mean, it could also mean it's how we're making a movie. You know? People pay a lot of I feel like. What? Alyssa doing what she's doing. 
Uh oh, he pants. <laughs> We hung string lights. We got ours from Walmart and they are the same solar powered lights that I've used in previous videos. I'll leave a link to the solar powered lights in the description box. We purchased an inflatable screen from Amazon. This was a pretty affordable one compared to some others and it blows up and deflates super quick. So I definitely recommend it. And it wasn't huge, but we have a pretty big backyard and it was um, big enough for us to be able to see the screen all the way from our patio. And now it's time to set up the concession stand. It's kind of funny because I didn't realize how much food and snacks we got until I had to set it all out on these two tables. So it was a ton of stuff and most of it actually was eaten, which was pretty good. We also added hand sanitizer bottles around the yard, but specifically on the actual concession stand with signs that ask guests to sanitize their hands before serving themselves. I'm putting the movie themed decor over the concession stand just to give it a festive feel.
we purchased lawn games for the front yard. We had a little social hour before the movie started for folks to play games, drink, and just talk and socialize. And there you have it. I hope you have some ideas for how to host a backyard movie night at home or just anywhere outside that you have space to do something like this. It's definitely a good fall activity and one where you're able to socially distance. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Give this video a like, subscribe if you have not done so already. And until next time, love star.